Hey everyone, so let's talk about what is new in Amazon Fire OS 8, uh, which comes pre-installed on the brand new 2022 Amazon Fire 7 like we have right here. Uh, so the OS 8 should be coming to the HD 10 and HD 8 and the plus versions of each of those pretty soon here. But as I'm making this video, it is only on the little 7, the new 7. So this would just be the biggest things about OS 8. So we scroll down here, let's get rid of this stuff. So it's not in the way. You will see some of the new things. So first one being dark theme. So we go ahead and turn that on. It turns your theme into the dark theme, which I actually really like, uh, which is on most Android devices these days. Then if we go over here, You'll see there is a new screen recorder, which for a YouTuber is really, really cool. Uh, I mean, you can record anything that is on your screen before you had to download an app to do it. And it, it was kind of wonky. Uh, you could only record, like the mic could only be recorded with both internal and external sound, where now you can re record just internal sound, uh, which is really cool. Uh, but that is, to me, the biggest thing is gonna be that screen recorder. Another update here is settings and apps. Uh, so this will allow system settings rub into an app to be accessed directly from the app without having to exit the app. Uh, so for example, Wi-Fi, uh, which will give you greater control of your apps here. Let's see, it now has HEIF support for images now a cool thing is permissions control. So it used to be you just give an app permission all the time, whereas now you can give it a, you know, while you're using this app permission, or you can give it permanent permission, or so you can control the permissions on each app. Uh, so again, you can control having permissions just while you're using that app. Uh, which is really cool because if it's using location stuff, you don't know, you don't want your the apps to know where you are. You can have it be just when you're using that app, so it's not kind of tracking your location. And then just to show you guys, so the H my HD10 here is still running just OS7. Uh, where again, where as that has the eight on it, so you can see it for the most part it is the same. There's not much difference here. Uh, again, the biggest difference is when you scroll down there. For one, this is all on one scroll down. Over here it is on two different pages. And then you guys can see, so you have your Wi-Fi, you have Bluetooth, you have airplane mode. Uh, we have blue shade, which is now over here. You have a hands-free. You have auto rotate, of course. You have the do not disturb right there, low power mode, uh, and then storage. So you also have a camera on the new OS 8. And then, like we said before, you also have the dark theme. Then if we hit this little icon right there, it's not on this one on OS 7, but you hit it right there, you actually can get a few more things here. Uh, so we can also, well, for one, it gives you all of them on one page instead of going back and forth. We also have invert colors, and then also you can do nearby share. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, if you hit the camera, it just brings up your camera. It seems kind of weird when there's a well, camera on your main guy there. Uh, let's see what this invert colors does. Apparently it doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, so that is the main things here. Again, for me, the biggest is going to be that screen recorder and then the dark theme. Uh, probably the biggest for most people would just be the dark theme. Uh, so basically what it is, it is now running off of, but not really running off of Android 10 and 11, kind of features from both of those. Um, again, Fire OS is kind of its own thing that's based off of Android loosely, uh, but not 100% like a Samsung would be, or something like that. Uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think. Again, nothing too major, of course. Uh... Unless you're like me and do screen recordings, then it's actually pretty sweet. I cannot wait for it to come to the 10. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate you. Hope you all have a good one. See you guys next time. Goodbye.